tweet checking online. Let's talk about this. Hi, my name is Martis. I make daily video about legal, intellectual property and business. What is intellectual property? Think about trademark, copyright and other intellectual property. In this video, we want to talk about checking trademark online. I'm going to show you how you can do it really fast. I'm going to show you what you need to watch out for when you, talk, when you check a trademark online. So it's important to do this because when you when you use someone's name or company's name, you can get a problem uh, for that. So watch out for that. So um, let's go to Google and on Google, I will show you what you need to watch out for. So this is Google. What you need to do is type TMV. This is a database where you can find almost every trademark that's registered. So TMV, European Trademark and Design Network. Don't worry about if you're outside Europe. I'm going to show you why in a minute. So we press it. When you press it, you will come on the website. This is technically a database and it's connected with a lot of database about trademark and yeah and other stuff so on the database if you look for a trademark you can find it and you can find more information about it. you can even export a lot of trademark so if you do some trademark research most people use this in order to get whatever they want so this is the website and the reason why i told you do not worry about it this is for european union and beyond so every intellectual property around the world is connect with this database and you can find it so you see here other countries and yeah. so let's say I'm looking for Apple it's trademark and I want to know more about it so Apple pie let's go adjust Apple so you can also look for um, images so if you have a um, logo you want to look for similar trademark you can upload it here and it will search for you so you have um, show advanced option I'm not going to that you have territorial, you can choose European, Asia, Africa, of America, it doesn't matter. So you see what I said? You can use this database, whatever you are. So let's look for Apple, because I'm gonna show you how the, it looks like, so you can understand what I mean. So you see this is TeamView, and when you look for trademark, you get a lot of options. When the good is um, registered, when it ended, what kind of class, application number, so you see all those things here, how it looks like, is it a um, trademark name or is it just a um, um, logo, figurative mark or whatever. So you see when it ended, when it expired, all those things, information you can find here. But the cool thing about this is you can filter them. For example, if you just want to know the trademark that are registered or trademark in a certain kind of uh, location, let's say filter offers if i'm only looking for trademark in europe i can look um, for a country if i'm correct like let's clear filter here in australia you can put it here you can press that and you see all the trademark in australia at that office and it took a while you see that here and you see when it ended also you will find all trademark but i'm not interested in that I'm interested in other filters that you can use. So imagine you have a name of a company and um, you want to know more about it. If it's registered, always look if it's registered. And so let's say registration date. Now, um, yeah, register. You press this and you get some information when it's registered. And here you can see, oh, these are apple trademarks that are registered today and i need to watch out for it so if you look for something you need to watch out for these kind of things because if the people see that you're using their name without the permission especially for the class i'll explain that in another video you can get a problem for that so that's how you can do it sometimes you need to look for um for people um if it's possible to use this in their video or anything Yes, you can do that, but always look out for um, the trademark and what kind of classes. So if you are using for similar products, try to avoid that. If you use for different products, 
watch out what you say about that company because if you say something bad they can come after you just use this as a reason to come after you so watch out for that and if you do some trade time research you see I just look Apple up you have a lot of results that's why you use the filter and if you want to export you use the export to export it here and uh, yeah you can also save it and you can also send the, the result to other people so they can see hey this is what you found about that you can find it here so a tip register create an account because you can save your result and you can always look back at it so and here you can see how you want it to look like see here you change it here you get more information about it and then you can export this as a PDF send it to your client or whatever but um, yes there are a lot of tricks that you can use with this database I'm not going to discuss I just wanted to show you if you want to check your trademark online you can use this website just go to Google TM view visit this website type the name in of upload logo it will help you search look up for what kind of services or what kind of goods the trademark is registered and think about okay how can I use this or can I not use it if you're new to this channel feel free to subscribe if you have questions about this video or anything related to the trademark feel free to ask me on discord